If you're asked to graph the linear equation y equals 7x plus 5, here's how you can do it. You could use slope-intercept form, and that would work well. If you need help with that, there's a link at the end of this video. But we're going to use a table of values here. Put values in for x, figure out what y is equal, and then graph those. That'll give us the line for y equals 7x plus 5. I always like to start out with 0. 7 times 0 is just 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. So that's our first point. We could put 1 in for x. So if we said x is 1 here, 7 times 1 is 7 plus 5. That's 12. But my graph doesn't go up to 12 here. So let's do this. Let's make it negative 1. 7 times negative 1, that's negative 7. Negative 7 plus 5, that gives us negative 2. That fits. How about negative 2 here? 7 times negative 2, that's negative 14. Negative 14 plus 5 is 9. Just barely fits, but we're good there. So now we can just plot these points and we'll get the graph for y equals 7x plus 7. x is 0. y is 5. x is negative 1. y is negative 2. We could stop there and draw a line, but I'd like to have that third point. x is negative 2 and y is 9. x is negative 2, y is negative 9, way down here. And that is our graph. You see the line? Let's put a line through it. Then we can put arrows to show that this goes to infinity. We have the graph for y equals 7x plus 5. You can put any values in for x. You'll get values for y. When you plot them, they'll be somewhere on the line. I just chose these values because I thought they would fit on the graph paper fairly well. But that's it. It's Dr. B graphing y equals 7x plus 5. Thanks for watching.